113 Massachusetts children are missing. The same number of families remain devastated. We're still waiting for answers. We're still hoping and praying for answers. Melanie Melanson's family has waited nearly three decades. Melanie was days shy of her 15th birthday when she vanished from a party in Woburn. Simply finding her is all her family wants. That will be justice enough for us, for Melanie, to give her a proper burial. The grand staircase at the State House provided the backdrop for the 17th Missing Children's Day in Massachusetts. A wall of wonder displayed each child's name and picture. The event coincides with the National Missing Children's Day held in the nation's capital. We all are so uniquely different that we're kind of doers, and we didn't know what to do. We're kind of active, so we had to do something, and then we had to learn. The state's Missing Children's Day was created 17 years ago by Maggie Bish whose daughter Molly was a 16-year-old lifeguard kidnapped from Commons Pond in June of 2000. Her remains were found three years later. Through the Molly Bish Foundation, Maggie also helped to create the national and statewide Amber Alert system. But declining health of her and her husband John is forcing this force to step back. She's led this fight every step of the way. She's brought these families together going through the unbearable and unspeakable pain. To me, this was my biggest honor and my baby because I created it, and I, I love this building. Credit given to Maggie Bish for her leadership in this area. Today's was the last Missing Days Foundation here in, in Massachusetts that Maggie will be hosting. She will still be involved in the Molly Bish Foundation, but on a much smaller scale. And we are live outside the State House. I'm Reed Lamberty, WCVB News Center 5.